Hey YouTube, so I did a small little cut test just for fun and it uh, doesn't mean much. Just uh, these knives here. I have them in the order of uh, what I liked um, the most and the least. Uh, so of course I'm biased, I like mine the best, but uh, there's a few production knives that uh, I thought did pretty well. Uh, so what I did was just basically cut up phone books. just. Uh, which ones I also cut myself pretty well. So, um, anyways, uh, so this knife uh, is one that I made, a 1095, really thin or thinner stock. And then this is the same exact design except with thicker stock, with, but with a higher grind. So, yeah, and then uh, so this is the highest or what I preferred to cut phone books with. Not that you'd ever need to cut a phone book. And this is what I least prefer. Uh, I know, I don't know. So I, <laughs> I was talking to someone, and they're like, "Oh yeah, the the Hinder ZT cuts through things like butter and everything." And I'm just like, "Uh, I don't know. The edge on this is really thick compared to some of these other knives here." Um, I think a lot of these knife stock would not cut this well, but uh, as you can see, I kind of took this off and made it into a zero grind, or kind of like a convex edge. So you just put on sandpaper and just sand it down, and uh, yeah, just real thin. Of course, uh, can't take these knives that far. I mean, it's just 10.95. The edge would collapse. It's not strong enough. But, yeah, this one I was actually kind of disappointed in. Even though I know this is really thick, this is uh, oh, what was it? I think it was 5.30 seconds steel. Uh, this is 01 though, so. I probably could thin this out a bit more. I left it kind of chunky. I don't know how well that describes it, but yeah. So I probably could get a little bit more performance out of this. Um, these three here are 10.95. Oh, it's hard to do this through the viewfinder, but this is what I found uh, to be my preference. All right, and I'll just tag the footage after this. Thanks for watching.
so even though this ZT is convexed and sharpened, it's just too fat. Like, it won't go through. But you can see I don't even need the rocking motion on these knives that are crowned. The southern Spyderco Southern, also convex at the edge. It does need a bit of a rocking motion to help it through.